gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and in today's video I am going to be taking a pregnancy test. This is our second month of trying. Last month I did a video and got a negative test and then this month I did a like a confirming ovulation test and it was positive and now it's been a little bit and I can take a pregnancy test according to first responses um, like website. I went on there and like put in my last period and all of that and they said today was the first day I could test. It is 9 DPO but I do have the early response test to take um, and I'm really really nervous because we tried this time and it said that I successfully ovulated. So I kind of like have my hopes up and I really don't want them to be let down because I want another little monkey. Um, that's what I call my two and a half year old, my monkey. Um, so hopefully it's positive. I do have my pee cup and I just woke up. So if I look busted, I'm sorry, but you're supposed to use your first morning's urine. Um, and I have my little pee cup from my little ovulation thing that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and pee in here and then yeah we'll get started with the testing for 9 dpo okay, so i just went to the bathroom and now i'm going to go ahead and dip my test let's get this open sorry about the toilet sound i'm nervous so nervous okay so this is just the first response test and I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it for, what's it say? For five seconds. So, got my urn. And one, two, three, four, five. Don't know why I closed my eyes. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put this back on. I'm shaking trying to put it back on just to get it here and I will set a timer for three minutes okay let's go ahead and set the timer okay so it just started okay guys so it has now been three minutes so it is time to pull out this test and see There is nothing there. I was really hoping. Really hoping. I don't want to cry because it's like we've only been trying for two months and I am 9 DPO. But I figured if you know if anything the first response test is gonna be what would show and there's nothing I will show you guys in a second um I'll still take a test in a couple of days which I will also include it will just be like a dollar store test but I'm not seeing any type of faint line or anything which just really bums me out god I was really hoping I guess I will test in a few days and, you know, see and yeah, I'm sure it won't be a positive line then either. Hopefully it will be, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what the test looks like, even though it's negative. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Sorry about the, the light that's right there. Maybe if I... I do not see any type of other line, unfortunately. Hey guys, so today is my DPO, I'm DPO <clears throat> 12 days now. 
So I am going to take another pregnancy test. Um, but I'm just going to be taking one of the cheap ones. I'm just taking the Equate First Signal One Step Pregnancy Test. And I already went ahead and used the bathroom. So let me open this up. It's just, it just comes in one of these. It's like the 88 cents from Walmart test. And you have a dropper. And then you have a test. So I'm going to go ahead plant the urine and then you're supposed to do three drops onto the test so one two three okay so i'm gonna go ahead and cover that up and let's see how long i have to wait because our salt will appear within three minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and again set a timer for three minutes So while that is going and doing its thing, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you guys like in between so I don't have to say this afterwards. So if this test does come back negative, I have to sneeze. So if this test does come back negative, then I am going to go ahead and order um, some like Amazon ovulation tests and stuff because like I've told you guys, I am not... I wasn't tracking my ovulation with like tests. I did it with like my app using Flow. And then I also um, did the proof test to confirm that I did ovulate. So I know that I did ovulate, but maybe the app was wrong or something. Cause obviously it's not gonna 100% know because it's an app and it's not like my actual body telling me that I'm ovulating like a test would be. So if this is negative and I end up starting my period, then I'm going to go ahead and order some ovulation tests just because I feel like that will, you know, increase our chances, hopefully. Um, um, as far as my symptoms of like my sore boobs, which was a couple of days ago, I told you guys, but that's what I was feeling. So I was hoping that I was pregnant. It's kind of gone away at this point. Um, so I don't really have a lot of hope and plus getting a negative test already kind of bummed me out but yeah so once it gets to three minutes um i'll turn you guys back on and we'll see the results again okay guys so it has now been three minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and take and of course don't see a line I was watching a video, I think it was yesterday, and it was just about TTC people, how they like stare at these things forever and try to find a line and then you can get, I think she called it like line eyes or something, and you like imagine a line there and I could totally see myself just doing that. But I know you're not supposed to look like after the time because there can be evap lines and like other things. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys, but Yep, so I do not see another line, which means that I'm not pregnant this cycle, which is a, which makes me sad and I'll probably go cry after this. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, the people who do this constantly and like it takes years for them to conceive are like so brave because after I've you know, this is our second month trying and just, I'm sad. Like, I, I'm sad. And I don't know, my husband made it seem like it's gonna be so easy. Obviously I had more, like it's not gonna be as easy as you think. And I know people, you know, it takes a long time for some people and that might be us and who knows. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully next month is our month. You have to, you know, keep out hope and all of that. I'm lucky enough to have one incredible little man right now and he's still sleeping currently and i love him so incredibly much so much he makes me so happy he's just starting giving kisses 
he he would let us kiss him like we uh, we want kisses and he'd stick out his forehead for us to give his kisses he's two and a half and uh now he just started giving like actual kisses so he'll constantly kiss my cheek throughout the day and it's the cutest thing and it makes me so incredibly happy so happy so i'm lucky that i have him and i get to go and snuggle him so that makes me happy but yeah we are you know not pregnant this cycle so hopefully cycle number three will do it if you guys are you know just watching this video to watch it i hope that you will consider subscribing and joining my youtube family it would mean a lot for me for you guys to subscribe and support me along with this journey so i hope that you do and i hope that you give this video a big old like and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye guys